welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be yet again another makeup collection video. You guys are probably tired of seeing me this week, but I know a lot of you are excited about seeing my collection. So today I wanted to show you all my blushes. Now a couple months ago when I was thinking about this series and how I wanted to lay it out and how I wanted to organize everything, I thought I was going to have to do my blush video in two videos similar to how I did my eye palettes where I would have a high-end video as well as a drugstore video separately because I love blushes so much, but I decided I wanted to do just like one big blush video. So this might be a little bit longer than my other videos, but today I'm also going to be showing you some swatches of my blushes. I know a couple of you have been wanting me to do some swatches, so I'll be showing you swatches of my favorites as well as showing you how I categorize them in my drawers and organize them. If there are certain products that you saw in my collection videos that you'd like to see me use more often or talk about more or show you swatches on social media, please let me know down below or privately message me if you want to because I'd be more than happy to show you swatches as well as talk about products and why I have them and why I love them. So before I start rambling on too much, I hope you all really enjoyed this video. If you do like it, please remember to give it a big thumbs up as well as subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of my other videos. Tomorrow's video is going to be very exciting. You're not going to want to miss out on it. It's going to be all about my highlighter collection. So it's probably my most anticipated video yet and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. So again, I hope you enjoy it. If you want to see all of my blushes, then just keep on watching. So I decided for today's video, I didn't want to do a vlog style since a lot of you want to see swatches. So I'm just going to show you around my room where I have everything and then I will kind of set up all of my blushes and I'm going to take you through all of them and show you some swatches of my favorites. So I'm just going to start over here again. This was my home goods organizer. I only have three blushes that I keep up here and then when you move along back over to my original beauty box, a lot of my blushes are housed in this little bottom section of the drawer. There are only about two or three highlighters in here but a lot of them are like my everyday favorite blushes. And then moving on again, these are the two Alex Six drawers stacked together. The blush drawer that I have mostly is this one. So I have categorized my drugstore blushes in these two sections and then I have high end on these two. And then because I couldn't fit like all of my blush palettes, I do keep them down here. This is like my bronzer drawer. So I have an overflowing section of blush palettes as well as some down here that I just could not fit anywhere else. So let me take you through everything and show you some of my favorites. So I wanted to start off with drugstore blushes. A lot of the blushes that I do have I love that are especially from the drugstore. I will be showing you swatches of some of my favorites. I will not be going through all of them since we sit here forever and hours going through blushes, but I do want to show you some swatches of my favorite ones. So I wanted to start off with palettes first. These two are both by Morphe. Y'all probably know what I'm going to be showing you first. This is the Morphe 9N palette. This is my favorite blush palette ever. I will never stop using this. I use it almost every single day just because I love the tones in here. There's such a wide variety of shades in here as well. Because it's neutral, I feel like I get the most use out of this one, unlike the other one. This one is their 9B palette, which I bought when they first came out, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't even reach for this one just because the colors, they're pretty, but they're just way too bright for my everyday looks. Another palette that's quite similar to that is by BH Cosmetics. This is their Nude Blush 10 color blush palette, which you'll probably see looks very, very similar to the Morphe one. I do like the Morphe one a little bit better. These ones are a little bit chalkier than the Morphe blushes, but they have the same exact color range. And then finally, I have my Makeup Revolution blush palette. The first one I actually keep in my everyday drawer. This is their Golden Sugar 2 Rose Gold Palette. I love this because these are all shimmery. You can use these as toppers for things like highlighter and bronzer, or they have different colored blushes right here. But these are just so insanely pigmented and they're so smooth. So I love this. You also have two matte shades over here. This is like the best bang for your buck. These are all only like $10. So the Golden Sugar 2 one is my favorite. This next one is called Blush Queen, which does not have a mirror, but this one is again a lot of shimmery, more luminous colored blushes. I also have the original Golden Golden Sugar, which I ordered on the Tam Beauty website. These ones look similar. The other one is just a little bit more warm toned, but this highlight color is out of this world stunning. It's so pretty. I would definitely recommend any of the Makeup Revolution blush palettes. They're all so amazing. And then last but not least, I have Hot Spice, which is more of their like orangey toned palette. They also have one that's a little bit more pinky toned, if those are the colors that you like to wear. Since I'm talking about Makeup Revolution, I might as well talk about these while we're here. These are their Blushing Hearts Triple Baked Blushers. They actually sell these online now on Ulta, which is exciting, in new packaging. But I ordered these off of the Tam Beauty website, and these are supposed to be dupes for the Too Faced ones. So this first one is called Ice Tarts, which I can actually use as a highlighter because it is super pretty and a really nice light pink. This next one is in the color Peachy Pink Kisses, which is also very beautiful. I could also use this one as a highlighter if I wanted to. This one's definitely a little bit more peachy, but you can also use this as a blush topper. They are so gorgeous, very pigmented, and of course, they're very luminizing. And then this last one that I have is in the color Peachy 
Kane Heart, which is actually the one that I use as a blush on an everyday basis. It's like a really nice peachy bronze color. It's kind of hard to see. It's not as reflective as the other ones, but it looks really, really gorgeous as a blush. There is Swatch. I love this one. So up in the front here, I just keep two more of these CoverGirl True Blend Mineral Blushes. This one is number 425, which these are really, really pretty. I definitely would recommend these as like a blush topper. Of course, they're like a loose powder. You have a little puff at the top, but it's like a really nice shimmery overlay of a product. You're not going to want to use this as a blush because it really will not show up. This is the pinky colored one. And the other one I have is the peachier colored one, which is number 430. A couple other CoverGirl blushes that I have. These are their True Blend blushes, which are very similar, as you can see in name to these ones. This is just the mineral version, which is like the loose powder. The first one I have is the light version, which is absolutely beautiful. And the other one I have is in the medium color, which these remind me a lot of the hourglass ones. So if you like that kind of formula, you will love these. I have a couple essence blushes. This first one is their silky touch blush. And this one is in the color number 20 baby doll, which is like a really nice kind of neutral pinky color. And then I also have these two, which I think were limited edition, but I'm actually wearing this one today. It's so beautiful. This one is in the color pinky flow. This is their blush up powder blush, just kind of like an ombre color. And then this other color is called heat wave. These are extremely pigmented. A little bit goes a long way. The color may scare you, but they look gorgeous on the cheeks. I like to keep most of my physician's formula blushes together. So the first couple ones that I have are the argon oil ones. So this first one is in natural, which I still kind of have some of the overspray on it, but that is what this one looks like. And then this next one is called rose, which these are both gorgeous, super creamy, just like all the other physician's formula powder products. These next two are some of my favorites. These are their glow and mood boosting blushes. So this was one of the first blushes that I ever bought myself a long time ago, and this is in the shade warm. And then I love that one so much. So I recently went out and got this. This is a color that I haven't seen before. It's in the color natural. I just hauled this one. And the last two physician's formula blushes that I have are brand new to their blush family. These are their butter blushes. So this one is called Plum Rose. I just did a video on these when I hauled them. And then this one on me is actually not really a blush. It's definitely more of a highlighter on my skin tone, but this is in the color Natural Glow. This is a great universal product because if you are super light, it's going to look beautiful as a blush, but if you do have a deeper complexion, this is going to look beautiful on your cheekbones. It's like a nice kind of peachy gold color. Back here, I have some of my Milani blushes. These are all of their regular powder blushes that have the beautiful rose on them. So I have five different colors here. The first one is Romantic Blush, which looks like this. I also have Tea Rose, which is super, super popular. This next one is my favorite. It's called Awakening Rose. I believe these next two were from a limited edition collection. So this first one is called Blossom Time Rose. And then this last one is American Beauty Rose. So I do like to keep some of my Milani baked blushes in my everyday drawer. I also have some of them in here that I have in rotation. I have six of them because I love this blush formula. It is one of my favorites. So my favorite one, you guys have probably all heard about it, is called Luminoso. This is like one of the OG ones that I have. So that's what it looks like. It's so pretty. This one is called Dulce Pink, which is also a really gorgeous kind of neutral colored baby pink. The Lissimo Bronze is one that I love to wear during the summer when I have a little bit more color to my skin. This one's another one of my favorites. It's called Rose de Oro. This next one is called Berry Amore. And my new favorite, this is one of the newer colors in Rosa Romantica. It's going to be really, really hard for you guys to see. It is just the most beautiful natural color. I've been wearing this a lot recently and I just love the way this looks on my cheeks. In the back here, I just have some of my Wet n Wild blushes. This one sadly broke and it's one of my favorite ones. This is in the color Mellow Wine. It's so insanely pigmented. And then these next two colors are some of my favorites as well. This one is called Apricot in the middle and this one on the left is called Rose Champagne. In the back here, I also have a couple of Revlon blushes. This one's a new one. It's called Dare to Bear, which these are both really, really pretty neutral colors. And this next one is called Naughty Nude. And then the last couple ones I have in the back here, I have one of my Soap and Glory blushes. This is their Love at First Blush in the color Pink Pop and Pearl, which I love to use as a blush topper. It's a nice kind of like rosy color. I also have a Palladio Matte Blush, and this one is in the color Peach Ice. And then last but not least for this section, I have an Elf Blush. This one's in the color Peachy Keen. They don't last super long on my cheekbones, but I love this color. Moving on to my other section of my drugstore blushes. In the front here, I have a couple NYX ones. This is actually one of the new duo chromatic highlighters that I like to use as a blush. This one's in the color Crush Bloom. Next, I have some of their baked blushes. So the first one I have is called Chiffon, which looks like this. It's a really, really nice neutral color. This next color I have is called Solstice. I also have the color Foreplay, which is a really, really pretty powdery pink. And the last one I have is called Wanderlust, which is a beautiful corally peach. I also have some of their newer blushes. These are their HD blushes, I believe. The first one I have is a little bit more of a 
neutral color is called Nude Tude. This next one is called Soft Spoken, which is a beautiful light orange. I also have Bright Lights, which is definitely more of a kind of brighter neon orange. This one is called Amber, which is very similar to Mellow Wine by Wet n Wild. And last but not least, I have Beach Babe, which is a really, really beautiful shimmery bronze color. A couple of other Wet n Wild blushes that I have, these are their ombre blushes. So this one is called Princess Daiquiris, which looks like this. This next one is called Mai Tai Buy You a Drink. And the last one I got is in a purple haze. Back here I also have a couple of Jordana blushes. The one that I love so much is called Tawny Beige. It's a really nice neutral kind of bronzy color. And then the other one that I have is called Rose Silk. I have a couple more NYX blushes. This one is called Terracotta. And the other one I have is called Mauve. I do have a couple more of the Makeup Revolution blushes. This one I think was actually like a dollar or two on their website. It's called Love, which again, another neutral blush. I also have one of their Vivid Blake blushes, which I want to get more of because these are absolutely beautiful and are very, very comparable to the MAC Mineralized blushes. This one is in the color Hard Day, which is like the perfect, most neutrally kind of mauve color. I also have a couple of their I Want Candy blushes. This first one is in the color Glowing. And I also have this one. This is in the color Sun Kiss, which I like using as a bronzer as well as a blush. This is one of the first Makeup Revolution products that I ever bought. I love this blush and this color. It's called Nude. It's just like the most perfect nude. And then the last Makeup Revolution product that I have that I like using as a blush is actually their Vivid Baked Bronzer and the color Ready to Go. I do also have a couple of the Ulta Velvet blushes which are beautiful and I highly recommend. The first color is called Nude Pink. This next one I have is called Naive. And the last one, probably my favorite one out of three, is called Sun Glow. I also have a Hard Candy blush which is one of their baked blushes. This is in the color 125 Living Doll. The last couple of NYX blushes that I have, these are two of their ombre blushes similar to the Wet n Wild ones. So the first one I have is it's called Mauve Me, which is my favorite one. And then the other color that I have is called Nude to Me, which is like their bronzy, nudie color. Next, I have a couple of the L'Oreal True Matte Super Blendable Blushes. So the only warm one that I have is in the shade W34 Barely Blushing, which is a really, really pretty bronzy, orangey color. These are probably two of my favorites. These are part of their neutral line. So the first one is in the shade match N12, and this one is called Precious Peach. This next one is in the shade match N34 called Innocent Flush which really does just give you a beautiful flush to your cheeks. And then last but not least, I have two of the cool toned ones. So the first one I have is C12. This one's called Baby Blossom. I love this one as well. And the last one I have is in the match C34 called Tender Rose. This one is also a little bit more of a kind of shimmery, satiny blush. Back here, a couple more products. I have the Maybelline Master Highlight. I have two colors. I have Nude. I can use these as highlighters or as blushes or as bronzers. They're very, very universal. And the other one I have is in the color light bronze. And then last but not least, I have one of my favorite blushes from CoverGirl. This is in the color Soft Mink. This is one of the classic colors. This is what the color looks like. It's one of those beautiful deer cheeks but better colors. Okay, so moving on to my high-end blushes. I want to start off with palettes and get those out of the way. So the two that I have that are actually from the holidays, these are from Sephora. This first one is one of my favorite ones. This is their Blushing For You. I love this one. This middle blush is so beautiful on the cheeks. This next one is actually one of their like blush bronzer highlight palettes together but this is called their Blush, Bronze, and Ready to Glow Face Palette. So that is what the inside of this one looks like. I do have a couple of the Tarte Blush Palettes that came out for the holidays. So the first one, this is called their Bling It On Palette, which has the really nice sequins on it. And then this one was the one from this year. This was their Color Wheel Amazonian Clay Blush Palette. If you can get any of these blush palettes during the holidays, I would totally recommend it. And the last blush palette that I have from Tarte is this Big Blush Book Number 2, which looks like this. Another holiday blush palette that I have is by Becca. This is their Blushed with Light Blush trio, which I also really, really enjoy. Another holiday palette. This was from a couple years ago. This is the Bare Minerals Ready Blush Palette. So it has a highlighter, a blush, and a bronzer in here. Next, I have the Narcissus Blush Palette. This is the Unfiltered 2 palette. I love NARS blushes, so I had to get this palette. This is the Unfiltered 2, which has more of the pinky peachy tones in it. The last blush palette that I have that was for the holidays, this is the Smashbox LA Lights Blush Palette. It has contour shades, blush shades, as well as highlighting shades. Another blush palette that I got not too long ago, this is by Too Faced. This is their Sweet Peach Glow palette, which looks like this. And then the last high-end blush palette that I have, I literally just got this a couple days ago, so I haven't even used it. This is by Laura. I think it's part of the new, like, spring collection, and this palette is what I love. These colors totally speak to me. So you have a highlight, two blushes, as well as, like, a bronzer. So the first ones that I have up here in the front are by Laura Geller. I also have another one, so I have four of her baked blushes. These are called the Blush and Brightens, which are so beautiful. The first one that I have is called called Honeysuckle. This next one is called Roseberry.
Fairy. One of my favorite ones. I love using this during the summer. This one's called Sunswept. And then the one that I keep in my everyday drawer, this is called Pink Grapefruit, which I think is the perfect blush in my opinion. It just has uh, some nice mauves. Up here, I do have some of the Benefit box blushes. So I have Rock Tour, which is in my everyday drawer. I love this blush. This next one I have is called Dallas, which you could totally use as a contour color just because of the color tone to it. But I really like this as a blush. And then next, I also have Coralie. So this is a beautiful, shimmery, corally color. I also keep my Smashbox blush in here. I don't even think they make this anymore, but this is one of my favorite colors from Smashbox. This is one of their Halo Longwear blushes in the color Warm Glow, which looks like this. Moving on to Tarte blushes, I have four in here. I also keep my fifth one in my everyday drawer. So the one that I love the most, this is called Exposed. Next, I have the color Celebrated, which looks really pretty. It's actually quite surprisingly pigmented on the cheeks. This is in the color captivating which is a beautiful bright kind of orangey color this is my first blush from Tarte so this is called tipsy and then last but not least this is one of their newer colors it's called risque I just had to have this as you can see it's definitely a color up my alley on the side here I keep two of my NARS jewel intensity blushes the first one is called Ervor, which looks like this and this next one was limited edition this is one of their Stephen Klein blushes in the color vengeful I love this one this blush was one of my favorite ones that I wore for the fall moving on to Urban Decay I have two Two of their after glow blushes. The first one is in video, which is more of the deeper nude. And this next one is called Fetish, which is a little bit more pink than video. I do have a lot of Too Faced blushes. So the first two that I have are two of their Love Flush blushes. The first one is I Will Always Love You. This is a beautiful orangey pink with a little bit of shimmer in it. This next one is my favorite, of course. It's called Baby Love. It reminds me a lot in color to the Exposed by Tarte. And then moving on back here, these were the box blushes that make Makeup Revolution was trying to do. The first one I have was the first one that I ever bought. This is called Candy Glow, which I believe was one of their first ones ever as well. I also have this one, which is called Peach Beach, which looks beautiful over a bronzer. And then the last one, this is one of their newer ones. This is called Sparkling Bellini, which is so beautiful on the cheeks. Back here, I have two of the Marc Jacobs blushes. These are their Air Blush blushes. The first one is in the color Flesh and Fantasy. And then the other color that I have in this is called Kink and Kisses, which is a little bit more of a pink color. And then in the back here, just keep more of like my higher end blushes that I don't use as often. The first one I have is by Dior. This is in the color My Lady, which came out during the holidays. This packaging is so heavy. Next, I have a Chanel blush. This is in the number 76, which is a really nice bright orange. I also have an Estee Lauder blush. I need to use this more just because I love the way this looks on my cheeks. This is in the color Lover's Blush number 10. This is a shimmery blush, but it's again that perfect neutral everyday nude that every everyone's looking for. I also have a very special product from the Dior. This one is called Diamond Rose that everyone goes after. I actually bought this off of Glambot because someone was selling it. I have two of the YSL blushes. The first one is in the color number six, which I don't use as often. This is my favorite one. Of course, the nude. It comes in this really pretty, luxurious packaging. This is number one, and this is more of a cool toned mauve color. And then last but not least for this section, I have a Bobbi Brown blush. This is the Calypso Cheek Palette, which actually has three blushes in it. You have a bright pinky orange, a highlighter, as well as a cool toned pink. Now moving on to the next, next category, I also have more of my high-end blushes. The first one I wanted to mention is one that I keep in my everyday drawer. This is by It Cosmetics. It's one of their CC Plus Radiance Ombre Blushes in Coral Flush, which is so pretty. This is so insanely pigmented. I also have this random Sephora collection one. This is in the color Too Hot number 7. It's a little bit more of like a rust orange, which I really like for the summer. In the front here, I have a Laura Geller Baked gelato swirl blush. This is in the color cantaloupe. It looks super neon in the pan, but when you put it on the cheeks, it's a very nice like pastel-y bright orange, but it's definitely wearable. After that, I have a couple of my Becca blushes. So I have two that I keep in here as well as my everyday one. So the one that I keep every day up there is called Damselfly, which is a really nice, just kind of darker everyday nude. This one does have a little bit of a radiant finish, so it gives you that beautiful flush. The other two that I have, this one is called Wild Honey, which is more of a matte shade. And then I also have one of the luminous blushes. This is in the color Camilla, which is so pretty. When you apply this light-handedly on your cheekbones, oh my gosh. Another product from Becca that I actually use as a blush topper. This is one of their shimmering skin perfectors in the color blush copper. This is like so crazy pigmented. Next, I have a couple of the Clinique Cheek Pop blushes. So the first one I have is definitely my favorite. This one's called Nude Pop. I also have the color Heather Pop, which is like a cool tone pinky mauve. And the last one I have is called Melon Pop. This one is a really fun kind of 
bright color. I also have a couple of blushes from Too Faced. These were called their Full Bloom blushes. I have all three of them. These are discontinued. The first one is called Coco Rose, which is really, really pretty. This one is a matte finish. The next one is called Who's Your Poppy, which looks very similar to Nars Orgasm. And this last one is called Sweet Pink. On the side here, I keep my Hourglass Ambient Lighting blushes along with the one that I use pretty much every single day. I love the formula of this. Probably one of my favorite high-end formulas. So my favorite one ever is Mood Exposure, and I know what you're thinking. This looks so boring in the pan, but you guys always ask me what is on my cheeks, and 99.9% .9 of the time, especially recently, it's been this. The other two colors I have, I have Diffused Heat, which I love for the summer. It looks quite scary, but it's like that beautiful, bright, poppy color. And then I also have Incandescent Electra, which came out in the holidays, and then they brought it out in a single version. I do have to mention some of my favorite Kat Von D blushes. She did discontinue these, which make me so sad because these are so beautiful. The first one I have is called Wish, which is definitely my favorite one. I actually have a backup of this just in case. This next one is called Bellissima, which is like that pretty pinky coral. And then this last one is called Essex, which is a cool tone pinky mop. On the side here, I keep my Estee Edit blush. This is the Darius blush in the color The First Lover, which is their nude. I also have one of the Lorac blushes. This is their buildable blush in the matte finish called Cinematic, which is one of my favorite colors ever. I do have four of the NARS blushes, and then we're going to move on to all of my MAC ones. My first blush ever was Y NARS. This is in the color Orgasm, and I used to wear this all throughout high school. I hit pan on it. I also have the color Luster, which is a beautiful, just everyday color. This next one is called Madly, which is also super gorgeous for everyday. And then last but not least, I have the color Deep Throat. I'm sorry about all the names. Blame NARS, but that is what it looks like. And then last but not least, I have all of my MAC blushes. So the first ones I actually keep in my everyday drawer. The first one is a mocha. I always reach for this when I want more of a cool toned look. This next one came out during the summer. This is one of their extra dimension blushes which they're releasing more of which makes me so happy because I love this formula. This is in the color Seduced at Sea which again came out during the summer. I also have another one from this collection. This is called See Me Hear Me which is a little bit deeper so you guys can see the color difference between these two. And then this one is a really old product. This is the MAC Minimize Skin Finish in the color Lust which I believe was from a special collection but I love this as a blush. As you can see it has that really pretty kind of reflect of pink in there. This one is so pretty as a blush topper because it has some glitter in there. So I'm not going to spend too much time talking about these because you all have probably seen them before. So the first one I have is Harmony which you can actually use as both a blush and as a contour shade. I also have Warm Soul. This is one of my favorite blushes ever from MAC. I hope they never discontinue this. I also have Blush All Day which is a pro long wear blush. Another mineralized blush that I have from them is called Lovejoy. This would look beautiful on people with deeper complexions. I love using this as a bronzer topper. Another mineralized blush I have is called New Romance. This next one is called Margin. It's a frost finish. This one is called Sun Bask and it is a sheer tone finish. This was from a limited edition collection. This was a mineralized blush in the color Happy Together. There's a luminous side and then a matte side. I also have another pro long wear blush. This is in the color Rosy Outlook. Next, I have the color Peaches. This is a sheer tone blush, and this is probably one of everyone's favorites. This next one is called Pincho Peach, which is a sheer tone blush, but I think they discontinued this color. And then in the back here, I just have some of the limited edition ones. So this first one is called Fleet Fast, which is from a really, really old collection. I also have the color Crisp White, which was from the summer collection a couple years ago. This one is called Yum Yum Yum. This is a magic dust powder that I actually wear as a blush. This was from the holiday collection just this year. I also have this one. This is their highlight powder in the color Crew, which is really kind of unique. This was from so long ago as well, in the same collection as this blush. And last but not least, I also have the Blush Ombre and Azealia Blossom, which I wish I got the other one, which was more like poorly pink, but this one is the cool toned purple. I also forgot to mention, I do have a couple of the other MAC blushes in singles. I just do not know where my palette is. I believe I still have Melba, Cantaloupe, and Prism. So that's it for this video. I hope you all really enjoyed it and maybe found a product or two that you want to try out yourself. If you did enjoy my video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up as well as subscribe if you have not already. You can click on that big red button down below to make sure you do not miss out on any other videos from me. Thank you again so much for watching. I love you all so very much and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!